Hey, hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in Lux Linger. A sequel to Red Dead Redemption 2 and this time we'll take around 20 minutes to complete rather than 200 hours, so that's nice. <sighs> Of course, it's not a Red Dead Redemption sequel, though. <laughs> so, uh, the game was developed by Duckbridge, published by Two Awesome Studio, and is available for usually £9.99. So this is a good little platformer where we have to, well, you know, shoot enemies and stuff. It's as simple as you'd expect, to be honest, from a Western type side scroller. Now, achievements-wise, this is not very difficult, as you'd expect in the slightest. A lot of it is just for shoot, uh, shooting gold bullets, which you randomly get from enemies and chests, killing 22 enemies, and there are a few missable ones which I will explain, and we just need to do the first level, beat the first boss, but we need to be doing a little quitting to the dashboard manipulation to get both endings, as it were. But even if you... Uh, basically, <laughs> what I'll say is, I balls it up completely, uh, but I do keep the mistake in the video as to show you not what to do to get those achievements. But again, like I said, even if you do balls it up, it takes around 10 to 15 minutes to get to the boss anyway, so it's not too bad. So with that being said, then let us begin. And like I said, you can have a look at the settings, change the music, etc. Uh, choose new game, uh, new school, so that we don't have to restart a level if we die. And there will be a couple of times you'll die, you know, from bullcrap platforming sections. They're not really bullcrap, but, you know, you, you do a jump and it's sort of... You miss it somehow. Even though you make it, you miss it. It's one of those cheap deaths, as it were. So, mm, screw you. Screw you games like that. So, anyway, like I said, it's easy enough to move your left... You move with the left trigger, like you do with basically every game. You press A to jump, and you press the X button to shoot. Or if you're on PlayStation, it's X to jump, and square to shoot. Uh, it's the uh, right... Uh, let me just... Uh, 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 right trigger, <laughs> then, to roll if you want to do some dodging. And if you press left on... Uh, if you press down, sorry, on the left trigger, that means you duck. Um, but we won't be doing that much rolling. It's very easy enough. Also, you need to press the Y button to reload your gun. So this is like a little tutorial section now. So we press A, and that's it. Obviously, the longer you hold A, the longer you jump. Um, so go ahead, just jump to the right. Um, just uh, press the A button there to smash the dialogue with Dead Man. He hands us a gold coin, though, which is always nice. I bet that's worth a few bob in today's currency. Uh, it's not a gold coin, but it's like a luck meter thing. But these vinyls here, these, uh, every time you hit one of these, that is where the checkpoint is. Um, basically, there's, there's luck essence. Basically, if your gold bracelet in the top left-hand corner there is full, um, it gives you um, luck. Um, some lucky events, so things might not fall on your head. And as you'll be able to see, when you jump, when you jump to the right... Um, Basically, a little thing will appear so you don't actually fall. What I'm doing is just jumping to the left just to show you that your pro progress has been saved. So then we can just start from the last vinyl that we went to. Or that we uh, picked up, as it were. So this is what I mean then. If your golden bracelet is all good on the left-hand side, you jump and a little thing appears. Which basically helps us not die. So that's nice. Oh, again, only a couple of times throughout the game will this happen. So now we can just move on, and basically all we'll all we be doing to sort of dodge bullets and everything is jumping up, dodge the bullet, and then spam the X button. Um, duck, again, like I said, press down on the left, uh, left stick, and then press the X button to shoot. Get a gold coin. Uh, this will come in handy for an achievement in just a little bit. Now, my advice is, every time that you kill an enemy, press the Y button to reload so that you don't accidentally run out. So every time you see something fall, just dodge to the left or the right. And then just keep, again, just holding the A button so you jump as far as you can. So we've got a vinyl. And you need to shoot any chests to keep them open. Anything like snakes, even which look like weird little ginger cats, they can hurt you as well. So again, slam the uh, X button to shoot enemies dead. Press the A button to jump over any bullets. And as you can see, the top right hand corner there, we've got a gold bullet. Now we will get an achievement for shooting one of those gold bullets right there. And there 
and we've collected a vinyl as well. So again, they, those two are story related, but that's what I do every time and and yes, so I die. Like I said, you will also get an achievement for dying three times. Um, so that'll be, again, very easy. If you don't even get it, you'll get it at the end of the game anyway. So yeah, not not a lot to sort of go on as soon as you get used to the game pretty quickly. Every time you shoot an enemy again, like I said, press the Y button to reload so you're not um, having to wait. And I show you I show you the death, by the way, because we defeat the seven enemies as well. Um, so even if you don't kill somehow 2020 by, by the end of the game, you can just keep dying and keep killing the same enemy if you need to. Uh, so yeah, not, like I said, it's very straightforward, not a lot to uh, commentate on, really. Uh, we're just sort of shooting chests, being badass, and yeah. And again, like I said, if you jump, that should always happen. If it doesn't, the checkpoints are very generous, so for this game. As long as you just keep walking forward, you'll be able to avoid these spikes, which look like weird British teeth, according to Americans anyway, in every American TV show. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. Why do Americans think that British have weird teeth? We've got dental... Dental plans! We've got dental plans! So, welcome to Clover Creek. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is uh, proper western and stuff now. Uh, we're going to talk to this guy, smash through the dialogue for just a second then. And then when we can finally move after the sheriff passes out drunk, the goddamn piss head, make sure to actually be grabbing this with the X button. Press the X button a couple of times so you've got the wanted poster. Move forward to the right, jump on the horse, and well, this is it. Now we can just carry on all the way to the right until we get to the next screen. So then, for this next bit then, it's basically just the same as we've done in these sort of tutorial levels, so jump to avoid any bullets, and I will sort of be back, obviously dodge any obstacles you can, and I will be back uh, when something is happening, or something, or something, so something that, you may. So kill this bra right here and then press, uh, duck down and press the A button to jump down there. Um, go ahead, kill this guy as well, or these two guys. Very, very simple. And basically what's going to happen now, we're coming up to our first missable achievement. Very missable. Um, again, it takes less than 10 minutes to get to this point, but he, you will get an achievement for basically playing this. Uh, hit the Y button. Or the X button, sorry, forget which one. And basically what we need is just three green cards and that will unlock us the Windian achievement. So you should be getting two achievements here. So before you move on, make sure to keep... It's only it's only two gold coins to sort of smash it out, so that's fine. But you'll get one achievement for uh, playing it and then you should get the other achievement then for uh, getting three green cards. Now I'm going to show you this death because it is the third time that I die. Um, so you can die, literally, If you even if you wanted to get this out at the beginning of the game, you could just fall to your death a couple of times. Um, but you possibly will, unless you're phenomenally, fantastically, gorgeously good looking at games like this. Then, you know, I mean, literally it takes seconds anyway. But, moving on, moving on. Yeah, boy. So in case you haven't noticed by now, sometimes enemies are going to pop out of stuff like this, other times they won't. But this is where I get the Serial Killer achievement. You may get it a little bit later on, so do not worry about that. Now you don't actually have to press the left bumper or right bumper. You can actually just jump and you should be able to make it. If you give yourself a little running start, you should be able to make it. Um, I obviously edited out there because uh, there's no need to see me do all that again.
So once again, of course, we're avoiding everything. Now what we need to do is either shoot or avoid these birds right here, because they can actually hurt you and take a heart off. So, you know, just be careful with them. Um, otherwise, like I said, it, again, it's all pretty much straightforward. Just keep watching what I'm doing. We're going to have a couple of enemies coming from the left and the right here. Um, I get another achievement then. That's just for shooting 11 gold bullets. You may get this now. You may get it earlier or later than me. Otherwise, you, you will get this at some point anyway. But just keep killing enemies for now. Like I said, dodging their bullets uh, by jumping over them as you've been doing. Again, all pretty much straightforward. So here's another opportunity then, if you didn't get the Windy an achievement earlier on for gambling and getting three green cards, there is another opportunity where you can do it. Again, if not, and you haven't got it yet, you can just simply um, go ahead and uh, start the game again. It takes less than 10 minutes to get to that point. So kill this guy. Now we're going to come up to another achievement now. Pretty sure this is automatic. I've played this bit three times. Pretty sure it's automatic. You press the X button to play this mini game. And I'm pretty sure uh, the outcome is always the same. But we get an achievement for picking up a gold bar anyway. Gold bars are my favourite goddamn chocolate as well. Uh, now this bit may get a little, uh, may may get a little bit overwhelming. But again, as long as you've been doing the tactics, shoot them dead. Press the white button to reload and shoot them dead again. It shouldn't be too bad for you. But we are coming up to the end of the level, and we'll be soon fighting off with the boss, the boss. I am the birds, the big bad birds. So once we're done here, again, kill this guy. Now, with this next bit, basically we're going to be on a couple of platforms. Um, we can just stay in the middle of one and sort of jump over any bullets and shoot him dead. But you have to kill these guys before moving on. Um, if you don't kill them, then you can't actually move on to the next screen, you end up dying, and then you've got to restart quite a while away, so just make sure to kill these guys before moving on. Nobody wants it! Nobody wants to restart this shit! Dun, dun, dun. So here we go, boss time, like a boss, and he's not too bad, he basically just throws a crap load of dynamite at us, um, which we can avoid by simply jumping before the dynamite hits the ground, now you'll see exactly what I mean, so we need to be on the attack, so again, just keep spamming the X button, avoiding the dynamite, it comes down in threes, ones, uh, but it's easy to avoid, um, so, so like I said, before the dynamite hits the ground, just jump and you should avoid it. Otherwise, just keep spamming the X button at the cart and pressing the Y button to reload as soon as you do that until he jumps out. So there he goes then, we've got him halfway down already, so he's now going to jump out. Dodge, uh, jump over these rolling bits of dynamite here, and what that's going to do is uh, create holes in the ground. So for now, we're just going to keep dodging the dynamite. Because um, it does take, the rolling dynamite can take two hearts off you, so be careful with that. And he can, and he also avoids golden bullets, which are a pain in my ass, but there we go. So, what we're doing, just keep avoiding the dynamite, press the white button and reload in. Now, when that second one happens, we're just going to jump here, and then jump to the next platform. Again, just avoiding all the dynamite, as soon as it hits the ground, just jump sort of away from it. And then just keep spamming the X button then, and the Y button when it reloads. So, not a very, very difficult boss. Uh, you shouldn't have any issues with it, really. But this bit's very important as well. Now, you've got an opportunity to carry or kill Sean. Now, we need to be on his left side and make sure to carry him. So, be on his left side and then make sure to carry him. Now, this is where I balls it up and had to replay the game again. Now, I will. I've put it here. So hopefully you shouldn't have an issue, but we can either throw him in jail or bury him. Now, what we're going to do first is bury him, and when we do, and the achievement unlocks, press the start button, but do not save and exit. Instead, you are going to just completely quit out to the dashboard. Do not do it the way i done it here. Do not do it the way i just done there. Basically, it's going to bollock us up, really. Um, so... Yeah, press start, do not save and exit, completely go to the dashboard, quit the game from there, and then... 
what you can do is obviously just load back in and then what should happen is we have Sean on our shoulders at the beginning of the level as well. So we, we would have beaten the boss and then we can just go ahead and do the other ending. Um, like I said, me doing it that way basically screwed it up. It put us in this room here, um, which is, is completely wrong. So again, apologies for this, but I thought I'd show it to you anyway, just so you know that it is not the way to do it. So as you can see, we're going to go past the sheriff's office now, and he's all dead and buried, and I got there rather pissed off with it, as it were, so I had to start a new game. Again, it only took about 15 minutes or so to get to this point, but it, you know, if you can avoid having to play an extra 15 minutes, then happy days, you know what I mean? So, again, like I said, hopefully I explained that well, and that you would have got the, you would have gotten to this point without having to play it again. Either way, bring Sean over to the jail, the one with the, obviously, Sheriff Star on top of the building right here. And then press the X button then to chuck him in jail. That will unlock us the achievement. And we'll only have one more now to grab. And we'll be doing that by heading outside, going all the way to the left. Yeah, that, uh, those two endings there, big, big pain in the ass. Again, only takes about 15 minutes, but still, if you can avoid it, it would be better. Talk to this douchebag sitting up against a tree, and press the X button to say yes. Because we're going to meet him outside of town for some, <laughs> for some cowboy loving. Oh yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, baby, I'm ready. Heath Ledger and uh, Jake Gyllenhaal style, come on. Now, what we actually need to do, keep your thumb over the X button, or the square button on PlayStation. What you're going to see now is the music. Duck's going to hit the music first. As soon as the music stops, hit the X slash square button, and that should be your last achievement. So as soon as the duck goes over to it, as you can see there, press the X button. As soon as it stops, that'll be the last achievement, and that should be the game. So, thank you so much for watching, guys and gals. Don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters, especially Chance Man and TG, uh, Tim G84. I'll see you in the next one, guys and gals. Big love.